I had what I called my PCO, my pre-coming out stage, which was about four years, so 12 to say 16, where I had to come out to me, which is the most important coming out really. Hi, I'm Riyad Khalif. I'm a presenter, author, podcaster, um, dude off the internet, and advocate for the queer community. When I grew up in a household with a Catholic mother, a Muslim father, and within a country that was incredibly religious, where schools and the ethos of where you learn is dictated by what's in a holy book, it no question leaves you to think that you are you're just not wanted, you're wrong, you're flawed, you're sick. Something needs to change here. Not only do the laws of the country not recognize you or like you, but the dude up there doesn't like you, whoever that is. So it was really, really hard. School days bring me a lot of good and bad memories, it's totally mixed. The, the school I went to was Ireland's first comprehensive school. So we had drama, our boys could do home economics and it just really allowed me to express myself. You could wear sort of what you wanted, um, dye your hair, whatever. On the flip side of that, like in every school, no matter how good the school is and the ethos of the school is, there are always going to be some uh, dark horses, <laughs> I don't know what you want to call them, but bullies. Um, and and I, I felt at times completely um, focused on just surviving rather than thriving. I'd say to anyone who's struggling with their identity um, or facing some intolerance in some way is that just trust the journey. That you might feel so unbelievably alone or that because of who you are naturally, you can't um, dream about a day where you're free and doing what you want to do with your career or with your love life. But believe me, there is a family, a chosen family of hundreds of millions of people around the world who are just like you. This is the letter to my 14-year-old self. Riyadh, I know that it's really hard right now and you feel like there's no way out, but just trust the journey. It is going to get better. And not only is it going to get better, but the thing that you most hate about yourself is going to become the thing that brings you so much in life. It is going to bring you community. It's going to bring you so many friends around the world. It's going to give you a purpose in life. It's going to give you work, believe it or not. It's going to reward you so much. And the pain that you're going through is going to inform so much of how your mind works in the future. You are going to be so full of empathy for the people and the world around you because of this now. Speak to mom and dad more because they love you unconditionally. And before you know it, the sun will shine again and the real life that you're waiting to live is going to begin. This is just the dress rehearsal. It's okay to fancy some of the straight boys in school, but don't fall in love, Riyadh. The ones that are right for you will come later, okay? So, yeah. Let them fall in love with Julianne and Rachel and Hannah. That's who they're supposed to be with. They're not for you. But appreciate them from afar because they are beautiful. You need to start going to therapy. Now. Just ask for it, get it, whatever way you need to, to get to a therapist, do it because it's going to change your life. When those guys are bullying you and saying those really mean things to you, that is not your fault. There's something inside of them that is hurting. And you are the easy outlet. So if anything, inadvertently, I'm sorry to say, you're helping them. It's not the right way, but it is what's happening right now. Those people that you feel safe around, they are your protectors. So thank them. 
they have seen that you need a friend, that you need a support, and they stepped in. They didn't have to do that, Riyadh. So give them a hug, tell them how much they mean to you and how much you need them because they deserve to hear that. <laughs>